Hey guys, I'm super excited to do this review of DS Grips. I ordered these back in May and they are finally here. So let's go ahead and open the box, take a look. So the first thing we get is a copy of the Constitution of the United States. I remember the first time I got one of these. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting read through uh, if you're even remotely interested in why we have the rights we have here in America. Um, next thing we got is a bubble line package with another bubble line package inside of it. Uh, there's Derek's business card right there. And if we open up the Ziploc bag, we start to see these awesome grips here. So let's lay these out. These are actually made out of a material called Dymalux. Um, and these are the rosewood grips. So here, I've got the dark cherry grips from VZ Grips, and we'll be replacing them with these. So that's a better look of the grip there. These are the Dymalux rosewood grips. Um, he actually puts in this rubberized inlay here, which helps with a little bit of grip. And then there's the other side of them, a little bit lighter on the inside. That's the other grip as well. So you guys can see. These are gonna be the item that you wanna get if you wanna make your own Samurai Edge. Now, like I said earlier, I ordered these back uh, May 20th and I got them roughly the first week of September. So about 70 business days is what it ended up taking. I know he's a one man shop and he's super busy. Uh, so it is what it is, but this is a highly detailed custom product. The overall quality, like I touched on, is, is super high. I mean, you guys can see the detail in that. There, we're gonna throw them on the Breda 92X here in just a little while and show you guys what they look like on the gun. Um, but quickly, I will remove the grips that are on there and show you a thickness comparison of the VZ grips and the DS grips. All right, so there's a quick comparison for you guys. There's the VZ grips uh, versus the DS grips. You'll see that uh, on the edges there, the VZ grips are thinner and the DS grips are flat pretty much all the way through. Um, now this isn't really gonna apply to you unless you're more of a competitive shooter or you go out and shoot quite a bit, or if it's a duty gun, for instance. This is just gonna allow for me to put more friction on the gun versus this. Um, now, overall fit and finish. So the VZ grips are actually made out of G10. It's a composite material. And the Dymalux material uh, looks more like a true wood. Um, so if you take a look on the insides here, obviously the G10 looks like a composite, almost fiber material. And like I said, this looks like almost true wood. So if we take a look on the other side here. Now the VZ grips have had about 20,000 rounds on them. Um, so if you start to see any sort of scratches or dents, that's exactly why, especially on the end here. So we can go ahead and install these on here. And with the installation, I really like to use these rubber washers on the inside of my grip screws. Uh, it helps tighten it down a little bit better and make sure that the screw doesn't actually walk out on you. So that's a good look at what it's gonna look like on the gun, right? It's really nice, it's a really classy look. Um, I left the other VZ grip on there so you guys can take a look at the thickness from the back here. So we can actually see it is a little bit thicker on the back end here. Now this edge raises up versus this one is more round. We can see how this is rounded out and this is flat on the sides. So I'm gonna take this grip off now and put the other one on. Now Derek Smith over at DS Grips did have the pleasure of contributing to the last Resident Evil movie, uh, Resident Evil The Final Chapter, and his grips were actually featured in the movie. Now that we have the grips installed, the gun is slightly thicker, like I said earlier. Um, it does add, so the way that he installed these, the tolerances are quite tight. You can see how the magazine release, I mean, is, is essentially making contact with the grip, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. We don't want to have any rattle uh, in that magazine release. Here's a look at the other side. See there from the bottom. It's great. The, the emblem here is very nicely done. You guys can see that hint of blue going on with the gold accent. That's that 3M grip tape in there. He also has the option to do more of like a skateboard tape for you guys that need a little bit more friction on the gun. 
Here's the other side there. Man, these are really nice. He did a fantastic job on these grips. Derek was extremely patient with me. I had many different questions regarding color and grip choice and whether or not he would be able to do it on this 92X Vertec, which absolutely he was. Uh, very, very patient with me, um, emailing back and forth constantly. Uh, so from May 20th to about the first week of September is about how long it took to get these. They are handmade to order. If you take a look at Derek's website, he's got a multitude of color choices that you can have, a multitude of different grip options that he has. If you take a look through his photo gallery, you can just see what kind of work he's capable of. As far as the lead time, I really wouldn't worry about the lead time. I would just go ahead and place your order and just forget about it. And eventually it'll show up at your door. That's pretty much what I ended up doing. Uh, and I could not be happier with the end result. As far as the durability of the grips, Dymalux is a relatively robust product. Um, it does look like real wood, so my expectations aren't too crazy high for how durable it's gonna be. I am gonna use it on the range, just like I do all of the rest of my guns uh, pretty extensively. So I will get a report back to you guys as to whether or not I ended up breaking them or whether they hang on to the gun for quite a while. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching like, subscribe, let us know what you want to see next.